What's going on guys and today I am going to show you for our thousandth subscriber video because we're right there and I'm super excited about it. Um, hopefully we'll get it by the time this video comes out, if not just shortly after. So thank you guys so much. Um, I can't express to you guys how awesome it is. Um, and soon we're going to be able to have the join the channel and all that stuff. So make sure you look forward to that and make sure you join the discord. Now, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to show you guys, because one question I get a lot from people that maybe not even in security, maybe just um, are curious or maybe they're younger and they're not sure or whatever. They always ask me, like, how do you know if you have a virus? How do, how do you even, how can you tell, you know? And that's a fair question. So we're going to cover a couple ways. Now, first thing I'm going to do is explain to you guys what virus total is. I didn't, I don't know what I just uploaded. My bad. Okay, explain to you guys what virus total is. So virus total has paid service and this is free. So if you go into it here, you don't have to log in. You don't have to do anything. It's free. So let's say someone sends you a link, right, in an email. You get this link and you say, I want to check it out. So we're going to cover two types here. So first one, I can go to URL. Now let's say, I'm just curious, someone sends me a link and the, the link is actually www.facebook.com, right? Well, you can see no one's ever reported this as malicious. No security vendor has ever. So that means to me, it's clean, right? And I know that to you, this might that might say, well, that's a little bit premature because you're not positive. And you're right, I'm not 100%, but I am 99% sure that that is clean. The reason is because what are the what's the likelihood that I would be the first person to ever get that link that knows virus total and doesn't report it? It's very low. So that tells me, Okay, someone else would have seen this being malicious. Now, let's go ahead and we'll just search. Um, Google will search malicious websites because I don't want to go to one, but I want to uh, hear some. So let's go to dfwdiesel.net, right? Now, we're not going to go there because it says right there it's malicious, but let's say we type it in. So someone sends you a link. It's to dfwdiesel.net, and you say, I've never heard of that. I wonder if it's legit. Now look at it, okay? So now you've got four well-known security vendors that say this is a malicious site, okay? So let's look at some details about it. All right, you can see it's a malicious website for media sharing. So you can see they actually have the certificates here. They have the domains. They have the actual IP address, um, who it's registered to. They have a lot of information about it. So you can start to see, let's say you have a you know, a program like Cisco umbrella where it tracks your, you're using it as your DNS. You can start looking, has anybody gone to this site? Um, because if so, we need to start backtracking and doing some forensics on that to see what's going on. Now, back to what I was saying with people asking about, um, you know, different types of things. So or different viruses. So we can go here and we can type in services, right? You want to find your services. So this is a, a common way to find viruses. So we can go to here, and this is what a lot of security researchers do. A lot of security researchers, researchers, excuse me, have the paid version of Virus Total because what it'll do is, if you have the premium services, it will actually alert you if someone uploads a malicious malware that's never been seen. Now, why is that important? Because what if it's the first time someone's reported it? You get the first alert, and you go and check if that's that malicious files anywhere in your network or in your enterprise systems. And right there, you jumped ahead before that zero day blew up, right? So you're ahead of the game. So that's why a lot of security researchers use this and they use it that way. Now, let's just say we go to services and we see one that's just real sketchy, right? Like we see one that's, you're like, oh, I don't know about that, right? So these are running. So we'll, we'll go ahead and just do one that's running. Uh, we'll do this one. Uh, we'll actually, we'll just do one that we know. Windows search, that's running. So we can open it. And we can see it's running right here, the search indexer.exe. Okay. So if we actually go to that, so let's go to C Windows. There we go. And we'll go ahead and we'll go to C. And we'll go to Windows. And then it's System32. And then we go to search indexer.exe. So we'll just say search. Okay. 
sure I passed it here. Search protocol, search filter, search indexer.exe. Okay. So you see search indexer.exe right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll upload that there. So we'll leave that there for a second, minimize this. And then we'll say search indexer.exe. And look at that. So right there, we searched it. It took the hash of the file and it said, is this a risk or not? And you can see no one's ever reported this as a risk ever. That to me tells me, hey, that's a problem. Or not a problem, I'm sorry, that's that's good. That means it's good. Now you can see, here you can see that there's some, one person flagged it as malware, but this is a guy, and you can see that's a sandbox, and it's not a security vendor. So what does that mean, right? That kind of just tells you, hey, check into it, but what it usually means is that somebody reported that may not be, um, I don't wanna say a, a authority and security, but it stops people from just going in and reporting everything. So then people, you know, the, the database is skewed. It stops people from just me and you just uploading a file going, this is malicious and just to screw with people. So it gives you, hey, someone did report it, one person, but no one else, none of the big names, no one that's actually an authority in security has ever reported it, right? So that's why the score stays zero, even though one person reported this. So you can see details. And you can see search indexer.exe file is not signed, but the description is Microsoft Windows. Now, all that means is that the if the file is signed, it means it's verified by Microsoft, whereas this one isn't signed, but it's not malicious. Okay, so it's not a big deal. So, all right, we're at seven minutes. We're good. So you can see here are some of the premium services, and I'm not advertising for you to go buy the premium service. You can use this for free. Um, I'm just telling you what it can do. You can see here you can use... Um, you can search the biggest names or the biggest uh, search engines in the internet, etc. You can see here if you go to hunting, this is the one that you're going to start getting. You can look at Yara rules, which we've covered Yara on this channel. So you can actually start doing some malware analysis and try and generate indicators of compromise. So one of the other big things is how does this data get in here, right? Well, let's say I go right here. And I, I actually, let's say I find malware. I'm the first person to find it. I, I upload it and it says, so like for instance, we'll go ahead and upload a file here that's never been seen. We'll just upload this one. And you can see undetected, undetected. That means no one's ever seen that file. And of course they haven't because that file was made for me and I upload it to YouTube and that's it. No one's ever used it besides me. So that's great. So then if we go here, we could actually say, hey, Here's our indicators of compromise. And we can put the hash of the file I just put. Um, you could put strings. If there's a string in that file that runs something, you could put those. You can start putting indicators of compromise, which we've covered in this channel before. And if you start building that out and you submit it, now the, the industry, now people with the paid subscription get an alert. Hey, there's something out there. Let's look for it. And they can start looking for that indicator of compromise. So keep that in mind that this is a way to share data but the other thing is you can have zero experience with cybersecurity or computers and you can go to virus total, which you know is very well known in the cybersecurity world. And you can upload whatever malware you think is there. Whether So if you go to services and you think this is the malware and you double click it, that's you're looking for the path and then there's your executable right there. So that's your file. So you can do it that way. You can, if someone sends you an email, that you think, hey, this might be a malicious email, check the URL that they're trying to redirect you to. If it's legit, that doesn't necessarily mean click on it because it might just be something they someone just set up to start a new campaign and it just hasn't been found yet. But it at least gives you a little bit of information. You can then see who it's registered to if it's been, you know, if you go to the URL and you look at the who is domain, you can do a lot of stuff here. So it saves you some time. It's a one-stop shop to check for a lot of um, viruses. And yeah, it helps spread the word about certain viruses. So hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys use it. And this one was made more for even if you've never have experience with security because I get this question all the time. And this is an easy way to hop in and check if you have a virus. Thanks, guys.